Hello, today we will be learning how to use Stackby and Moz API to bring rich SEO metrics for the website URLs and see how it is performing in comparison to the competitors. First, we will find and connect with the Moz API. Go to API, click on Moz. We need an API key. Log into your Moz account and we will get the API credentials here. Click on Manage your Mozscape API key. Here we will get the access ID and secret key. Copy it. Call it the Moz API. Add the access ID. Add the secret key so it is connected to the Moz API. Here we have a SEO URL metric stack created. We already have noted some URLs. We can connect this to an API. Select Moz. Select the API function. Get data from URL. Target column for the reference. Name column in this case. Apply. This will bring in the information of these particular URLs. Click on data and you will see all the information from the URL comes here. How many no follows? Redirect pages. External pages. Page authority. Domain authority. Root domains to a particular page, etc. For instance, we want to bring page, no follow, redirect pages, external pages, page authority, domain authority. We will create these six columns. This will pull in all the information. This is all super useful for anyone who is doing content marketing or keeping track on how they are performing on SEO stats in real time. Use the templates mentioned in the description and take your SEO game to the next level with StackBy. Now we will learn how to do an on-page SEO audit using Google PageSpeed in StackBy. As mentioned earlier, we will be using the Google PageSpeed API. First find and select PageSpeed API from Google. We need to get the API key. Go to Google's Developer Console. Create credentials. Call it the API key. Copy this key. Search the Google page speed. Click on page speed insight API. Click on enable. Once it is enabled, just add the API key. Call it page speed API. Integrate it with the Google page speed. Here we have already created an SEO tracking stack. Here we have all the website URLs that are to be tracked. We have connected this to the PageSpeed API and selected the Google PageSpeed. Added the API key which we got PageSpeed API. Select the service, performance. Select the URL column for reference. Apply it. This will bring in all the information. Click on data. This gives us the complete audits of the performance matrix. For instance, we want to bring in the boot up time, time to interactive, speed index, total byte weight. We will create these four columns. This will bring in all the information from the page speed API. You can also similarly bring on page SEO metrics from the API. So this is how you can do an on-page SEO audit using Google PageSpeed API in StackBy.